I've been trolled. with a dinosaur, wash her face with slime, and brush her teeth with chocolate. Today, we will share very unusual ideas for April Fool's Day pranks. Early morning is a great time for a prank. Your sleepy friend is about to brush her teeth and has no idea that something might go wrong. With half-closed eyes, she squeezes the toothpaste onto the toothbrush, and only the strange taste of it makes her wake up completely. Is that chocolate? It was minty fresh just yesterday. Return the tube to its place in the bathroom and wait for your friend to wake up. It will be a lot of fun, at least for you. Who lives in a toilet bowl under the sea? T-Rex huge fangs! Do you want to get your friend jurassically scared? Use our next idea for a prank. Print a picture with a dinosaur on two A4 papers. Connect them with tape. Raise the toilet lid and put the picture on the ceramic edge. Cut off the edges that stick out. Done! You can start the prank. Okay, I did it, but um, maybe I should have done two pieces of paper like they did because it only fits half of the toilet, but it should go good. Wait, Tori! Thanks for scaring me. <laughs> I scared you? Oh, thanks. Um, I thought you flushed it down the toilet. I didn't hear anything, so I was like, oh no, she flushed her paper down the toilet. But no. you didn't. When I opened it, I went. <laughs> I was like, why is this And baby Boo Boo can be considered the initiator of the next prank. Your friends came to visit. They are so happy to see your puppy that they are ready to hug him right away. But the meeting stops being all that fun when one friend notices strange lumps on the floor. Do you ever clean up after your dog? Why? I don't clean, I collect. Here they are with me, all in the bowl. Wait until they dry a little and you can eat them. Your friend is shocked. Ew! That's disgusting! For this prank, you need chocolate. Soften it in a microwave. Pour corn sticks onto a plate. String a stick on a fork and coat it with chocolate. Put the sticks on the dish. Now your friends can enjoy this dessert too. It ta tastes much more pleasant than it looks. I'm so lucky! As soon as I got to work, I found a whole hundred dollars under my computer. So basically, no need to work today anymore. Pull the bill by its corner and see a wide troll smile. So you got me! You will need a fake bill. Cut off the corner. Print a picture with a meme. Using a glue stick, attach the picture to the back of the corner. Put it somewhere visible. And to see the face of your friend during the prank, video call her. You will definitely have something funny to look at. Okay, I printed it out. Um, this is what I found, which is amazing, by the way. Um, I couldn't find any scissors, so I ripped it, and it didn't turn out very good. Does this look real enough? Wait. Okay, I think that's good enough. I 
I've been trolled. Having a lot of friends is wonderful. By the way, can they braid my hair? Apparently, that won't work out. The hair is falling off. The friends are in shock. Are you molting? Gotcha! Well, of course this is a joke. And my hair is fine. For this prank, you will need strands of artificial hair of a matching shade. Cover the top with your own hair. When lightly combed with your fingers, the strands slide off and stays in your hands while your friends freak out. Time for a quick snack. Let's treat a friend with a caramel apple. He bites off half the apple at once. Or is it not an apple? I wonder whether the tears in his eyes are from gratitude for the treat or from disappointment that I never learned to cook. For this prank, you need an apple and an onion. Stick a skewer in, mix some milk, sugar, and red dye. Stir thoroughly and cook until the mix becomes thick. Dip an apple in caramel. Do the same with the onion. Lay out the prank dessert on a plate. Everything is ready for the prank. Just be sure you don't forget which is which. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's me, Galaxy. Today we're gonna be making caramel apples. Okay, so it didn't specify how much of the ingredients to put in, so I looked up a recipe online and I got this. Hopefully it goes well. The recipe will be in the description if you want to try it out, but if it doesn't go well, I'd suggest you wouldn't unless you know how to make caramel apples correctly. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to add the sugar first, so we need two cups of sugar. Oh no, some of it spilled. Okay. That's a cup. One cup of sugar. Ooh, it looks so pretty. Eh, this thing's too big, wait. Oh. <laughs> this is silly. Oh! I'll wipe that up. Don't worry. Okay. Two cups. And it looks like snow. And look! The sugar has been removed by the power of editing. Woo! He needs vinegar. <laughs> vinegar! <laughs> it calls for a half teaspoon of vinegar. We couldn't find the half teaspoon, so we have the fourth teaspoon. You can't really see that it's a fourth yeah. teaspoon. But. So I'm going to have to do two of these. Cause oh, you're going to spill it everywhere. Don't say that. I know you are. Okay, that's one. Two. There. Okay. Half a cup of water. Okay, Tori. I'm just going to mix it a little bit before we... Before we boil it. Wow, it's so pretty. It kind of looks like a but it's still pretty. Okay. I hope this turns out because I've never made this before. Okay, it looks like it's already boiling, so I'm gonna turn down the heat because it says simmer for 20 minutes. I'm gonna mix that a little bit. Ooh, what's looking fancy? Okay. I'll get back to you after 20 so, minutes. The five minutes is basically up. So I'm gonna test it. Some of it. Just a small spoonful to here and see if it turns into candy. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. It's 
frozen. It's like hard. Well, it's kind of hard. It's like a little bit sticky. I think it's good now. It tastes a little weird. I think I burnt it a tiny, tiny bit. Or maybe it just tastes weird because of the vinegar. I can't find the popsicle stick. I'm just gonna use forks. This is gonna probably be a terrible idea. Okay. Um, we got Tori's tomato. <laughs> so. I hope this works. Maybe. Hopefully it dips Tori's tomato in the stuff. Hopefully it doesn't look like a tomato too much. Now I'm going to do my apple bowl. Done. Um, Tori's is a lot smaller, so I hope she doesn't notice. I'll just tell her to taste this one because it's smaller and she might not like it. Maybe. I hope this works. They're hard. Tori's going to eat it. Just bite the top if you can. Uh, yeah, so yeah. The 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 sugar stuff is really. Is it that hard? Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! Why is it so hard? I got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Oh, is it falling off the fork? <laughs> what? It won't let me eat it. Oh, it's too hard? Okay, try to crack it one more time. <laughs> I think I cooked it a tiny bit too long, even though it said 20 minutes. It's dripping. Where is it dripping from? Yeah, it's right uh, on the inside. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Fail. fail! Fail! Absolute fail! Just put your tongue in it. I don't know. The candy part tastes weird. I just want to eat the apple. <laughs> it's not an apple. <laughs> I never said it was an orange either. What is Here. it then? Is it just a candy ball? Oof. Oh no. Oh no. How do I pick it back up? Ow. What is it? It's a tomato. This wasn't, prank was a fail, too. If it wasn't hardened, then I would have eaten a p tomato. Yeah, this... Fail. Th this was an absolute fail. Fail. Oh! <laughs> you scared me. The pranker has become the pranky. <laughs> You want to eat some of it? No thanks. It takes the candy part tastes all gross. I wonder if it tastes I'll good do it with for the tomato. video. You'll do it for the video. Is it good? <laughs> I'll get you some she's water. Got her chocolate milk. And I'm pretty sure she's furious at me. I mean, look at that. It's a mess. There's tomato juice and candy stuff everywhere. Horrible mixture. <laughs> yeah, I'm 
I think it might taste weird because I cooked it a little too long. That's why it got so hard and um, so dark, I think. It looked really cool when I put it in the water. It just like froze immediately. Don't try this prank. It's awful. <laughs> well, you're lucky with this prank. It wanted... It wanted me to do an onion instead of a tomato, so you're lucky. Well, I wouldn't have taken a bite of that. Well. At least I took a bite of this. Okay, okay. Did you like it? Did you like the prank? Yeah, I mean, they're full prank. <laughs> I mean, it's good for an idea, but never do it. It's disgusting. Disgusting and mean. So that was a complete failure. It was absolutely horrible. And gross. <laughs> the candy turned out terrible. Probably because the recipe called for vinegar. The vinegar made it taste like sweet, sweet vinegar with apples <coughs> and some beetles. Tori's all like, why you do this to me, sis? <laughs> Sorry. Are we still sisters? Yeah. Are we still best friends? Yeah. We better be. I'm going to delete you as my friend on Roblox and Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> That's an even worse prank. No, I'm it's just not kidding. A prank. <laughs> Your friend is sleeping tight and on her fifth dream of the night. We obviously can't leave her alone. You need slime and a soft brush. Take the slime out of the container. Gently put it in the open hand of your friend. Take a brush and tickle the face of your sleeping beauty. She wants to brush the annoying fly off and seals her face with a nasty, sticky slime. Ew! What is this? Good morning, dear. So she's sleeping in a weird position, so I'm not going to be able to do that. <laughs> My nose is itchy. Achoo! Oh, what is this? My tooth flew out from such a powerful sneeze. My friend is in shock. For an even bigger surprise, you can then eat the tooth and then smile broadly, showing your friend a black hole in the front row of your teeth. Your friend didn't expect this. Take some marshmallows. Take a piece of a black foam rubber sheet. Cut out the shape of the tooth. Fasten it on your front tooth. Fasten the fake tooth on top of it. Just don't smile so that your friend doesn't guess in advance.